This, of course, comes just days after violence in Northwest Omaha that killed a mother and her two year old daughter. An internal investigation right now is underway into the contact two Omaha police officers had with DeStacia Strawn and suspect Ontavius Lloyd hours before the shootings. Strawn and her daughter, Kanesha, did not survive. The dispatch to police said a person was in fear for her life from a boyfriend. KETV News Watch 7's Chin Doan is live with today's developments. Chin. Well, Jeremy, Omaha police say the public has raised concerns about the handling of that 911 call. Even the family of one of the survivors, Kashel Roby's mom, tells me they too are looking into legal counsel against the police department. Today, Chief Todd Schmader and Mayor Gene Southert were at the weekly Omaha 360 meeting to address these concerns. The chief says about four hours before the shooting spree, two officers made contact with Nastasia Strawn and Octavius Lloyd about Strawn's missing car. Those two officers have been reassigned to administrative duties pending the outcome of the investigation. I hope that everybody knows that if I find wrongdoing, I will address it. I very much will. And if I wasn't intent on addressing anything or looking into this very appropriately, I would have never launched this investigation. Meanwhile, DeStacia's mother, Stacy, tells me today she has many questions, including, quote, why was the suspect released after the officers were told that if the suspect was let go, he'd come back and hurt her? Also, why didn't officers patrol her apartment and keep an eye on her? End quote. Don Tavis Lloyd is due back in court tomorrow. I'll have more of the chief's response regarding this investigation. Live at 6, back to you. Jindone, thank you. And we have also learned at least two bullets from the shooting went through a neighbor's wall at the complex. According to the police report, police found several holes in the wall shared between two units. Officers say it appears one bullet went farther, falling in the stairwell, the other bullet on the living room floor. The neighbor tells us she woke up to the gunshots. She's okay, but plans to move. As for the women hurt, 18 year old Jamie Latner is now recovering at home. 22-year-old Kashel Roby and 21-year-old Larion Williams are still at the hospital right now. More breaking.